In this video, we're going to talk about work, the physics definition of work, that is. When you think of work, you probably think of something you really don't want to do, something that takes time and energy. When we talk about the physics definition of work, we're really talking about two things. We're talking about force and displacement. And here's the key to understanding work. The force must cause the displacement. So let's take a look at a few of our preconceptions before we get into some examples of how we can calculate work. So here's something we consider to be work a lot of times. Here you are sitting at your desk studying physics. You would probably agree that you're doing a lot of work. However, you've actually done no work whatsoever. I agree that there's a force acting on you, gravity, because you're sitting in a chair. However, there's no work. Remember, work is force causing a displacement. Since you haven't moved, there's no work being done. Here's another example. You're standing on a subway with your shopping bag a heavy shopping bag, and you're holding it up. It's not easy to hold it up. However, guess what? You're doing zero amount of work on that shopping bag. Sure, you're applying a force to the shopping bag. However, the shopping bag is not moving. So for work to be done, there must be force and displacement. Okay, here's how we calculate work. Remember that work has force and displacement. So here's the equation. Work is going to be equal to force times displacement. But there is more. Direction of the displacement is very important. And so we're going to add this directional component to our equation. We're going to add here cosine of theta. And theta is representing the angle between the force and the displacement vectors. So for example, if force is being applied in this direction, and then displacement is happening in this direction, the angle between them is going to go up here in for theta. Okay, let's analyze a few different situations. Here's our first one. A bartender pushes a drink across a bar to a customer. The bartender applies a force of 3.5 newtons to push the drink a distance of 30 centimeters. And I'm just underlining here in green the things that I know about this problem. If the drink has a mass of 500 grams, how much work did the bartender do on the drink? And I'm going to underline that in red. So here's what's happening. We have this drink that's moving 30 centimeters down the bar, which is the same as 0.3 meters. And we want to calculate work done. So I know the equation for work. And I also know force, 3.5 newtons which is going to go here. I know the displacement, 0.3 meters, will go in there. And I also know the angle. Since the direction of the force and displacement are in, uh, the same, the angle is going to be 0 degrees. Cosine of 0 degrees is equal to 1. So you can see in this case, the angle is not going to have much to do with our final answer. So let's plug in our numbers here so we can solve for this. And when we plug this into our calculator, we end up with a work of 1.05 newton meters. Now, usually we don't use units of newton meters. Rather, a newton meter is a joule, which we use the symbol capital J to indicate a joule. And so work is measured in units of joules. So there's our answer for the first problem. Now these, uh, the force and distance here, we're traveling in the same direction. Let's take a look at a situation where they're not in the same direction. A boy pushes, pushes a lawnmower in a straight line for a distance of 89.5 meters. How much work did the boy do on the lawnmower if he exerted a force of 20 newtons? and the lawnmower's handle was at an angle of 40 degrees below the horizontal. So here's my situation with the lawnmower, and I'm just going to draw in some of these things that I know. So my angle I can put in here, so here's the handle, and so that angle is going to be 40 degrees, and I know how much force the boy applied. Uh, to the lawnmower, and I also know the displacement. So let's put our equation in. Work is equal to force times distance times the cosine of theta, and then let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. And when we plug this into our calculator, 20 newtons times 89.5 times the cosine of 40, 
we end up with amount of work of 1,370 joules. Okay, last example. A waitress walks 14.6 meters while holding a 3.6 kilogram tray of food and drinks. How much work did the waitress do on the tray while she walked? No fancy picture for this problem, so I'm going to start with a free body diagram. So here is the tray of food. That's what we're analyzing here. And it's kind of tricky when we're reading problems. We really want to think about what are we, uh, which object are we trying to analyze? Or in other words, which object has the force being applied to it? And so since we're talking about the work that the waitress is doing on the tray, we want to analyze the tray. So here's our tray. And it basically is going to have the force of gravity pulling it downwards, and then it has the force of the waitress holding it up, and we could call that the normal force. Now just by reading this problem, I know the answer is going to be zero joules, but let me prove it to you. Here's the equation I'm going to use. Work is equal to force times distance times cosine theta. Now my force isn't directly given to me, but the force we are looking at here is going to be this normal force. That's the force of the waitress holding up that tray. It's going to be exactly equal to an opposite, the force of gravity. Now Fg is equal to Mg, which is mass times the acceleration due to gravity. That's a constant, 9.81. And so the normal force is going to be equal to the negative version of this. Now normally, since force of gravity is downwards, we call that negative, and so this g is actually negative 9.81. And so we get a normal force of 35.3 newton. So there's the force that this waitress is using to hold up that tray. Now here's the tricky thing, is that she's walking across a room, and so the direction of her displacement is perpendicular to the force that she's applying. Let me label these in green so you can see them. So here's the force she's applying. Here is her displacement. You can see that the angle between them, if we connected them, is going to be 90 degrees. Now the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. I can show you the work, but we know the answer is going to be zero. So I have 35.5 newtons times 14.6 times zero. Our answer is zero joules of work. And that is work with a physics definition.